what I have here is a Megatronic Danish welder how to make 200X the issue I have is that this is wired for 380 volts 3 phase I've got 220 volt 3 phase and what I'm told to do is I need to change this connector up to here take that one out and I need to hotwire my power supply which is, comes here L1, L2, L3 into the separate units here at different places and connect it up here that should if it was built like that it should have been a 9 pin uh, power terminal this is what I have, a 6 pin and that should cover, actually I need 4 but I will probably do a bit more uh, to put it up. Front view of the same welder. So it's auto MIG. So it's possible to put in uh, that turns on and off either sections. You have a selection here where you can choose between three different modes full, partly, and stepped. And then the time. And the pause is what you put in. The rest is kind of standard. And this is then the power well uh, selector. I hooked up my 0.6 millimeter cable in here. The feeder is there. Everything is good. It gives gas, so it's almost ready to be. Well, of course, I need to change to 220. So I got a step further here, I'm not sure where to go further on now. I followed the schematics uh, of, if I turn it that way, yep, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 is there, 4 over there, 9 over there, and there is supposed to be this wires in that comes from number one on each of these one number one and number one that's the main power that it used to be so that is now here and it's bridged from nine uh, sorry from four to eight from five to nine and from six to seven that is how it's supposed to be here. The next thing is to understand which one of these wires that comes in. So here is the spools. So I've taken this one, put it in to number six. It will be bridged over to number seven, which is brown. So it will be from blue to brown. And it should go into number one on or number five over there on the switch. So where is that here? That is my concern. The brown one is all the way on left, orange on the right, uh, and the middle, sorry, blue uh, at the end, and then there's the same on the other side. Difficult to see, but it's there. There going through. So that is the stepper for this voltage. So a strange detail I found is that there are some bridges like this one. One, two, three. So all this underneath is connected. If you want to rebuild it to 220 and you're supposed to put in the faces in here, they will all be connected through this. So you need to remove these little pins. I have them here. So this little thing in between each of the ones over here. So just pull them out and that should be fine. Correction, correction. I think the different faces, brown, 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 on both sides, should be connected in the bottom, but not to between brown and orange. So I need to put in the link between here and here, and then from... Um, here to here, but not between there and there, which is the brown one, 
and the orange one. And then I will separate all three. And that should be correct. K, K, K. I have rooted everything up as it's supposed to be in the diagram. I have connected everything up here, stripped it up a bit so it looks slightly better. And should now be possible with my 220 volt to turn it on. And it gives light. Let's try it on 5. And let's go and find our welder. You see, this is the previous result. So let's just try very carefully here on 5. Yeah! That's a different thing. I tried a couple of others on 6. You see it's actually burned through. Uh, and previous, it was nothing. So, that's a success. That's how we, or I have turned 380 to 220 on a MIG, Megatronic Auto 200X. Nice machine. Looking forward to use it now.